Hey, what's going on folks? Creative Duelist here. Bringing you guys my quick uh, analysis of the ancient years. So, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the stats real quick. So, in terms of power, ancient gears can hit really hard. Uh, I give it 10 out of 10. Power bond, GG no re. Um, if they can't stop power bond, it's a wrap. Uh, the Chaos Ancient Gear Golem is like is at 9k, and it can attack everything, and <laughs> uh, it's unaffected by spells and traps. And when it enters the battle phase, your opponent can't activate monster effects, so it's good against. It stops like um, battle traps. It stops um, monsters, so things that like to activate. So that's what makes this deck really strong and potent, being able to hit hard and hit heavy with the fusion monsters. Uh, recovery, 3 out of 10. The recovery isn't very great with the deck because it's too uh, heavily, because the playstyle, the, the con of the deck is it's very offense based. Uh, the whole point of the deck is to get your resources and then um, burn all your resources and summon out a big fat boss monster who can trample over everything and kill your opponent and one shot them. So if the boss monster gets stopped, um, the only real thing that can keep you in the game is if if it's uh, if it's ancient gear mega turn or uh, ultimate ancient gear golem, they will re they will uh, they will spawn back in ancient gear for you, but that's not enough. <laughs> And that's the problem with the deck. Uh, it's just not enough, not enough recovery. Um, you definitely won't have any or have any resources left. Uh, it'll take you too long to acquire them, and then by the time you even get to your resources, your opponent would have pretty much killed you. Uh, consistency, I give it six out of ten. H and Gear Wyvern is amazing. Um, H and Gear, if you open up H and Gear Wyvern, it's always great. Uh, Wyvern. Gives you access to a plethora of ancient gear cards in your deck, so you can search it for any, you know, search anything, especially the uh, toolbox, uh, the ancient gear gearbox. It, it, it nets you a plus two, essentially. So you get all the pieces to your hand, so you can play power bond and kill your opponent. The consistency is really solid, uh, but obviously, you can brick, you can draw brick hands with ancient gears, so that's the problem. So I give it a six out of ten. Defense. 1 out of 10, as I said before, uh, the deck is um, very reliant on offense. It sacrifices a lot of resources to even kill your opponent. So the defense-wise, it's very weak in that element. So I put it at 1, and creativity, I put it at 2. Um, there isn't a lot of archetypes you can splash with aging gears to make it really good, unfortunately. Um, there are some... You know, odd cards you can play as machine support, but it's not like you can't just go, okay, uh, gear gear, ancient gears, or uh, other ancient gear shit you can add to it, unfortunately. Uh, but yes, overall, I give ancient gears 5, 5.5 out of 10. It's a very, it's a, it's a, it's a rogue deck that has a lot of potential, but there's still missing uh bolts with it <laughs> the pun intended you know it's missing a lot of gears and missing a lot of problems um but in terms of affordability uh it's kind of not budget it because the wyverns are so good wyverns like it would cost you uh about like 25 quid to get like a playset of wyverns look i bought when as soon as the h and gear structure deck came out i bought the core like everything and it oh, and it was really cheap like wyverns weren't expensive at all i don't know why they're expensive i mean they're good card it's a good card but there must be a reason why but i picked up the deck for like 22 quid um when i had the opportunity obviously uh the only expensive card you'll have to worry about is the wyverns uh the ancient gear fusion you don't have to play ancient gear fusion you can play power bond but if you want to splurge some more money you can go ahead and pick up ancient gear fusions um and the fusions are uh, but like the ancient gear fusion monsters are actually predominantly cheap they're like four pound two pound or for like you americans it's probably like a few bucks like five bucks four bucks three bucks like the fusions are pennies like it's it's peanuts and the rest of the core of the deck is super cheap 
uh, because they're all majority of them are all reprints you can pick up everything uh for pretty cheap for a dollar for, for a dollar or you know for a couple dollars or less the the deck is pretty cheap itself it's just though the only cards that are probably expensive is the uh wyverns and the h and gear fusion but yes folks that's pretty much it for the analysis let's get right on to the deck profile Hey, what's going on folks? This is Creative Duelist here representing Team FTK. I'm making decks creative since 2016, folks. Now, before I start this deck profile, of course, I'd like to say some things. We have, pa we have Patreon. If you folks would like to support us, jump on Patreon, check out our tiers, anything that suits your liking. It helps support the channel and, of course, uh, furthers our goal in terms of improving our quality of our content. If you cannot do Patreon, that is totally fine. Um, we have PayPal. If you folks would like to tip us on an occasional level, please check out uh, the PayPal link in the description. So you can tip us. Um, it's all optional, people. Um, if you cannot pay anything, that's fine. Simply being subscribed and liking uh, the videos and commenting, that's support enough. We appreciate that too. And also, uh, we are sponsored by Inked Gaming. Inked Gaming sells a variety of items such as mouses, keyboards, mouses, uh, I just said mouses, but hey, more mouses for everyone. But yes, um, make sure you check out Inked Gaming with the promo code TEAMFTK10, I repeat TEAMFTK10, to get your 10% discount on anything you shall purchase through Inked Gaming. Please uh, take advantage of that promo code and of course, happy shopping. Now, you've all saw the um, analysis that I've done for this deck so you folks can understand uh, the grass with aging years. Um, so yeah, I'm going to pretty much get right into the meat and potatoes. Not much to explain. I'm just going to go over my card choices and give very simple brief explanations on why I chose these cards. So starting off with the monster lineup, we've got double aging gear golem. I play Traden. Traden's really good with golem. You can pitch it off. Uh, Go Golem, we only play for the fusion, um, you know, he's a fusion target. There is rarely occasion you're going to summon H and Gear Golem because he's so outdated and trash. Uh, but yeah, double H and Gear Golem, one ultimate pound. <laughs> We're never going to summon this again. Same reason, just for fusion fodder, fusion material. Uh, plus, ultimate pound is fucking garbage. Uh, but yeah, that's the only reason why we play it. One Gatchatron Dragon. Uh, you can cut this. I play Gatchatron because I like the whole aspect of playing trading. So Gatchatron is just there for my target. I play one Reactor Dragon. Uh, I would bunk this to two, but what kind of sucks about this card is that it's a level nine. If it was level eight, I'd cut the Gatchatron and play two of this because this has this is more uh, resourceful than Gatchatron, uh, but it still does the trick. Uh, nonetheless, and of course, got triple Wyvern. Wyvern just searches anything in the deck. Very important. Um, really well with with Gearbox and uh, the the H and Gear gadgets. Um, speak of the Devils, Gear gadgets and uh, the double uh, Gearbox. Gearbox again when he's searched, you can search an Earth Machine Monster 500 or 500 attack or defense. So Wyvern Gearbox into uh, the a gear gadget that's a crazy plus you plus for days with the gearbox um, gearbox helps you with power bond helps you push with power bond and gives you the right materials uh, you need to kill your opponent with power bond and also yeah there's no h and gear fusion in this build i'll get onto that in a moment a uh, triple hunting hound he's literally your polymer your polymerization uh, made made flesh so, and he burns your opponent for 600 when he's normal, which is pretty cheeky. So, he's good in that aspect. And I've got one one silver, one gold, um, because there are some XYZ plays we can make. So, that's going to round up the whole monster lineup, folks. Okay, for the spells, I've got the triple power bond. We don't play H and Gear Fusion purely because it's too expensive. Um, and to be honest with you, you can, you can get away with playing one copy of it. It's not like... H and Gear Fusion isn't super integral. You can still play Power Bond in this build. Power Bond, in fact, is more, in my opinion, more resourceful than Fusion. H and Gear Fusion just enables you a Fusion next turn, whereas Power Bond, it, you know, stomps your opponent. That's why I play Triple Power Bond. Of course, Triple Catapult. Um, pretty standard, self-explanatory. Blow up card you control. Uh, if you control the monsters, you blow up a card, you control them, bring out an ancient gear from the deck, and it combos well with 
gear town so it gives you uh, the right targets of course there's there's a combo you can do so what you would do is uh, say if you had power bond catapult and gear town you play you play gear town you play catapult you bop the gear town you special summon wyvern and then you pick the chain link so you go chain link one protect wyvern chain link two gear town so then you will search so you search uh for the for the gear box and then of course uh you will resolve the gear town to bring out an ancient gear monster and of course gear town sorry the gear box will resolve and then you search out the gear gadget and now you have four ancient gear monsters available and then you just play power bond like that's like really good so good disgusting combo and of course got the double fortress double trading uh, one terraforming one iron draw once one uh, scapegoat one overload one monster reborn limit removal because it's disrespectful uh, dark hole and regeki also forgot fortress also protects uh, your aging gears when they're successfully summoned so your opponent can't do anything to them and for the traps just got one a heavy storm duster because i can't find my second one for, to save me life uh, duster works well to pop your gear town and your uh, fortress and one ancient gear reborn just to kind of keep you in the game so that's going to round up the whole main deck folks for the extra deck token uh gigan x to help you search for the for the toolbox for the nuts and bolts i'll call them uh crooked cook is disgusting <laughs> uh crooked cook with gear town and fortress bruh it, it's really good you nuke your spells and traps and then Crooked Cook, he, he cooks up your field. He makes you a delicious field so you can kill your opponent. <laughs> uh, of course, the Utopia Package. Uh, double Howitzer. You can play three. So easy to make Howitzer. Howitzer just, um, when he dies, he sprouts out another Ancient Gear from the deck. And of course, got one Megaton Golem just to help push. Uh, Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem does nothing for you, but he... Again, he sprouts out an ancient gear golem from the graveyard, ignoring summoning condition. And then, of course, this is where the spice, uh, the double, uh, <laughs> double chaos ancient gear giant. This card is ancient gear golem on crack. If he was able, if he was unaffected by spells and traps and could attack everything, and no monster effects during battle phase, so good. And for the links, one platinum gadget and two misses radiant, just to help you uh, make push for more fusion plays. But yes, folks, that's going to wrap up the whole main deck, extra deck, and the whole profile. So thank you all for watching. If you folks enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like. Comment down below if you folks always like to hear. Tell me thoughts on the comment section. Check out those links, Patreon, PayPal, and of course, um, check out Inked Gaming. Take advantage of that promo code. Get your cheap, get your things uh, for real cheap. And of course, you know, I hope you folks enjoy the deck profile. This is the Creative Duelist representing Team FTK. Signing out. Peace.